while this uh, topic is on alkyl halides this type of classification is common for alcohols and alkyl halides both primary secondary and tertiary which uh, is dependent on the degree of substitution degree of substitution is determined by counting the number of carbon atoms directly attached to the carbon that bears the halogen group in case of alkyl halides and hydroxyl group in case of alcohol so first look at this carbon and see to how many carbons is it connected to this carbon connected to either halide or alcohol i mean oh connected to only one carbon primary two carbons secondary three carbons tertiary why is it important because of the reactions there are several reactions in which it matters which type of alkyl halide is it which type of alcohol is it here are some examples the carbon which is connected to f is connected to only one carbon so this species is some primary alkyl halide here the carbon which is connected to br is connected to two carbons secondary alkyl halide this is carbon connected to h uh, connected to two more carbons secondary alcohol carbon which is connected to h connected to three carbons tertiary alcohol now the properties uh, that these species show would depend on the bonding that they are having left side you can see alcohol right side you can see alkyl halide and uh, this is a polar part ccl cx in general and uh, so is co in alcohol and because of polarity you can expect many differences from hydrocarbons here what you see is the electrostatic potential map in which uh, colors show the charge distribution you can see one type of color uh, somewhat uh, condensed here and uh, not so condensed here so colors are used to show the positive negative uh, potential so basic idea is that polarity but uh, there is difference in the two species i mean families rather alcohols and aldehyde alkyl halides in one case uh, oxygen is connected to hydrogen on the other case uh, cl is not connected to hydrogen so hydrogen bonding is uh, going to be a great difference in the two species polarity is going to be the uh, going to be there in both but in one case hydrogen bonding will be there and in the other case it won't be there so what happens due to polarity you know different types of forces Van der Waals forces, which are there in alkanes. Then you have dipole-dipole hydrogen bonding, etc. So dipole-dipole. And when you do have dipole-dipole forces, then what can they result in? How about 
boiling point comparison alkane minus 42 now molecular masses are uh, almost comparable alkyl chloride minus 32 now note that it is uh, highly polar the CH bond is uh, CF bond is highly polar but still you would uh, notice only 10 degree increase hydrogen bonding is the one which plays a very vital role in this that that's uh, what you see here 78 that's the major jump right so dipole dipole forces are there in alkyl halides but because of the lack of hydrogen bonding you don't have uh, high boiling points uh, in comparison to uh, alcohol in comparison to alcohol look at dipole moment dipole moment actually beats alcohol 1.9 versus 1.7 but boiling point does not beat in fact no question of beating it is quite distance away on the lower side right so dipole dipole is fine but hydrogen bonding is something which is very special So in alkanes the story of minus 42 is that you have you don't have any dipole it is all induced dipole I hope you remember how a dipole is induced electrons are evolving not uh, at the fixed distance but at uh, variable distances so the center of uh, positive charge need not coincide with the center of the negative charge in a molecule center of positive charge need not coincide with center of negative charge at all instants of time because of the revolution of electrons so it is because of the revolution of electrons that you have this type of separation of plus minus in fact uh, we can put it like this Suppose uh, due to the motion of electrons, helium has got somewhat minus on the right side. Electrons are moving, right? And instantaneously it is possible that right side charge, uh, they go to the right side somewhat. So minus plus, minus is not meeting the plus. Now consider some neighborhood helium. In neighborhood helium, even if positive and negative were meeting, because of this minus will be repelled by minus and you get this type of thing That's the key. Hydrogen bonding is stronger than any than other dipole dipole attractions. OH 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 Now, 
let's increase the number of halogens and see what happens to the boiling point. You can see a steady increase. Interestingly, carbon tetrafluoride does not have any net uh, dipole moment. I hope you understand why. Four vectors which are symmetric four vectors which are symmetric would simply cancel. So CCL4 does not have a net uh, dipole moment but look at its boiling point. Now what is happening here we will look into that but before that this trend is uh, clearly towards increasing CL increasing boiling point. Now, why this? Because of polarizability. Because of polarizability. What is the meaning of polarizability? Yes, what is the meaning of polarizability? Anion is distorted is fine. So imagine electron clouds surra surrounding uh, chlorine. Somebody can deform that electron cloud. Somebody can more easily deform that electron cloud. That's the meaning of Cl is more polarizable than hydrogen. Deformation of electron cloud around CL is easier. So think of it like this. There will be neighbors surrounding this CCL4, neighbors. Boiling point is all because of neighbors. I mean interaction with neighbors. Not within the, not so much within the molecule but uh, with neighbors. So neighbors are uh, uh, going to polarize it better in this case. So that makes it uh, high boiling point. You will see that uh, when we take fluorine here, when we take fluorine here, the game would be very different. Polarizable means if something is big, chlorine is big in comparison to fluorine I am saying. So if you have electrons which are away from you, chlorine nucleus would say that my electrons are away from me, so some enemy can uh, take them towards one side, polarizable. In case of fluorine, fluorine will say that well my, my electrons, are, fluorine's nucleus will say my electrons are close to me. So I have greater control over them. So fluorine is not going to be uh, uh, so much polarizable. So you won't find this trend in fluorine. Let's see. Yes, in fact, here it is. Look at that. Fluorine increase, uh, yes, boiling point increase, but then, but then, minus 47 and look at this most electronegative elements sorry and six of them are present yes overall CF3, CF3 would be uh, non-polar overall but uh, so was this overall speaking polarizability is the key here Chlorine just refuses. So fluorine is not very polarizable and therefore induced dipole induced dipole forces decrease with increasing fluorine substitution. 
so the game is not just of dipole dipole interaction game is not just of dipole dipole interaction the game is also of uh, induced dipole induced dipole interaction so the overall effect is that this is what happens in this case and this is uh, this is what happens in this case Now, solubility in water has to do with hydrogen bonding. Some uh, uh, fellow should be able to uh, form hydrogen bonds with water. So, alkylates may be um, polar, but still, still insoluble in water. Alcohol, on the other hand, uh, alcohol is what? Alcohol is just like water with R in place of H. Alcohol and water are going to be good friends, uh, especially the small alcohol. Small alcohols and water uh, are going to be good friends. So think of any uh, small alcohol, methanol, ethanol, then this fellow. They are going to be extremely well uh, miscible with water. But then if you try to increase the alkyl part, that is the hydrocarbon part, then this uh, uh, friendliness won't be so much with water as the as the hydrogen hydrocarbon part tries to dominate the miscibility is not going to be too well so generalization is going to be a little bit of a problem that all alcohols dissolve in water no small alcohols yes i mean mix in water yes big alcohols it will become poorer and poorer Now, ethanol has just two carbons, so you would see very nice hydrogen bonding, CH3, CH2, OH, right, OH, then H, OH, HOH, now, minus plus, plus minus, plus minus so while this topic is uh, of alkylates we looked at alcohols also because of some similarity in classification, primary, tertiary, uh, secondary, some similarity in classic classification and uh, some similarity in, in uh, polarity, right? So that's why we considered uh, alcohols and in reactions also you will see some synergy in the two, alkylates and alcohols. Any questions up to this point that we know? All right, no assignment for today, we stop now.